Hi, my name's Danielle. I'm 23, and this is... G-Money, G-Money, G-Money. Just kidding. I'm Gabby. And we're both from Thuma, Massachusetts. And we are... The, the Victor, Victor Twins. Twins. Gabby, I can perfectly see you. You're right in the camera. So what do you mean you can't see yourself? I don't like the way it looks. That doesn't mean you can't see yourself. So say, I don't like the way I look. half my face is missing. Like, I don't like the angle. Gabby, half your face isn't missing. I can see your full face. To be rock stars. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to our life. Well, the tidbit that you're gonna get, we got like 24 hours to do this shit, so it's not really a lot of time. But yeah, it's like all our old videos are kind of whack, so we're not incorporating that into this. But um, hopefully you guys like what you see and you pick us because one, you've never had a set of twins. Two. <sighs> well, anyways, um. This is the last 30 seconds of our video, and I'd like to have a moment of silence so you guys can ponder the idea of having twins that could change the game of reality TV on your reality TV. I'm just saying. I mean, if you, if you don't take it... Moment of silence. That means stop talking, Gabby. Let's all just all be quiet. Are we good? That was a good moment of silence. That, like, that soaked in for them, right? Mm, yeah. Um, yep. So hopefully you guys make the right decision and you, you get a set of twins on there because not only are we good looking, we're fucking awesome. Okay, you're creeping me out. But we are cool. And uh, not only that, me and Gabby, when we walk into rooms, we envision our own theme music. Like, but like slow motion status so by the end of this fucking season every girl will be singing along can you excuse me for my molester sunglasses <laughs> what did she just say what did she just say i'm not allowed to talk yeah you're not allowed to talk all right well welcome this is our crib yeah but dad can you see it in methuen massachusetts let's show your hurry up let's show your accuracy out this is my car. Um, it's pretty much why I still live at home. It's a little dirty right now, so excuse its look. And if you want to know how gangster, we do it over here in Methuen, Mass. Just look at my bullet hole. <laughs> Gunshot! <laughs> Box. I gotta do a hit and run and my insurance thinks I'm lying, so it's still here. And then if you come around this corner, right over here. What's up, boobs? I just want to invite you into my lair. Let's just take a browse around. And let me be the first to say that I am no hypocrite. And I know I said I like clean people. And as you can see, this is not a clean room. Do a 360D. It isn't clean. I understand that. It looks like Hurricane Katrina came through and paid a little visit. But the thing is, when you work a 9 to 5, changing shitty ass diapers on less than one year olds, the last thing you feel like doing is coming home and separating your whites from your darks. So, <laughs> exhibit A. Life is hard, man. Life is hard. And this right here, my friend, is my own beauty salon for my nappy hair and for the bitch taking this film right now. This, my fancy ass claw, 
which I get gassed up about, and all my pictures, because pictures pretty much mean everything to me, even though the people in them I barely talk to anymore, because they're all fucking fake or something. Beware, my room is really messy. Here is my man cave, as some guys would say. Um, I did the black and gold theme. A lot of dead roses. I tried to go with the medieval... Um, I don't really know what to call it, but it's pretty. Um, I'm not as messy as Gabby, as you can see. If I push back all these clothes, you can start to see my array of shoes. If I'll show you some examples of the spiffy shoes that I buy. I like to stand out. I've got makeup galore, perfume galore. We got a perfume for every occasion. Gucci Guilty for sex. Ed Hardy if you want a fist pump and you get the idea. No, don't, do not film. I'm filming. No. Mom, I'm filming. No, I'm not fucking freaks. You guys are not fucking mature enough to have a fucking puppy. I can't stand this. You fucking argue instead of somebody just taking the fucking dog out. Okay, I was going to take him out. But I you didn't, so he peed again. Okay, and you can't be mad down. at him. What do you mean mad at him? I said calm down. Why? Calm I, down. Who, who's going to clean up the pit? Get him, Bruno. Teach him, Bruno, how to be a thug one day at a time. <laughs> Bruno, get him, Bruno. Get him, Bruno. Who is that? I haven't left Massachusetts since 2008, and it was, was a horrible. It really yeah. and it was a horrible experience. So I need to be sent somewhere new and somewhere exciting. I need to leave the nest so I can grow the fuck up. And not only that, where we don't have to wear boots and sweaters for ten months straight. I haven't left Massachusetts since I moved to California and I came back two years ago, so it's definitely time for a change. I'm ready to leave. If you're ready to send us. in the morning. I woke up at 5.30 in the morning, working at 8 to 5, a 9 to 5, a 7 to 3. It's not for me. Nope, it is not for me. Mm -mm. Gabby gets an extra hour and a half of sleep, so I'm going to go wake her up right now and piss her the fuck off.
I think I got the home, 978-433-0109. Yes, that's my number. However, um, no one will be there. Let me give you my work number. Um, nine, uh, let me see, what is it? 781. Take a quick look outside right outside the door. Like, how would you describe us? Okay. Would you rather have a positive or a negative? Um, the truth. The truth? Uh, I think um, I think they're spoiled. Mm -hmm. I think that um, they need to do a lot of growing up. And that's essentially it. Wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> Why? It's the because truth. you didn't say one nice thing. Well, no, I said you told me to be truthful. I mean. Okay, but what's the truth about us being, what's something nice, just say one nice thing at least. Well, I think you're both very smart. What I about pretty? Oh, well, that's a given, but I, I think for you guys it's it's a deterrent. What does that mean? It means that, that you're pretty, and I think sometimes you think that that'll get you through in life without relying on other things instead of just being pretty. If you had to describe both of our personalities, what would you say? Uh, both personalities can be a bit intense. Could you be a little bit more specific? Together, both can be intense, and it, it reminds me of a of a time when both of them were young, and the neighbor's daughter couldn't play with him because she couldn't handle playing with them both at the same time. It's so true. So we won't put names out there. So I think uh, together, their personality could be a bit much. So if this is actually for the show, I don't know if that would be a good idea to have both of you on the show at the same time because that that's may not what you're supposed to say on the video, Dad. That that may be a bit much for the for the for the rest of the cast to handle. Well, give one for Gabby. For Gabby, I would say Gabby is very. Uh, she's very one word, Dad. It's an adjective. She's very playful. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, and me. The devil. Why are you thinking so hard about this? <laughs> the, the devil in disguise. <laughs> And me, Dad? <laughs> I, I think you're very driven. I think that's a compliment. Can you at least say what you think of reality TV? <laughs> and what about us being on reality TV? No comment. Oh, you guys. <laughs> if you could describe us in one word each, an adjective, what would it be? Um, divas. <laughs> a bunch of divas. <laughs> a strong attitude. I think that's the only thing I can say. All right. Yeah. All right. Well. She's lying across her bed. This is Danielle. I'm from so class. From Channel 2 News. Danielle. I mean, Gabby. <laughs> Redo this. Redo that because you fucked up. Um, I'm the anchor. Here, you, you take over this. And yes, back to um, you, Joe. Back to you. Uh, thank you, thank you. Sorry, uh, she, uh, she's a little nervous. It was the first day. But we are here from uh, Framingham State Prison. Uh, we're talking to Gabrielle. Um, I can't even do it. So what, what happened when you accosted your mother? What did she say to you? Wait, what? <laughs> Repeat the question. Repeat the question, Wayne. <laughs> what happened? Uh, you're incarcerated because you attacked your mom. What did she say to you? She said that when she comes home, I'm still in the same spot that she when she left with the morning. Oh my god! <laughs> she said that to you? <laughs> you seem to be in a pretty good mood for being incarcerated. I can't hear because this is a fucking joke! I know the prison system is unfair to women, but... You are here, so uh, what are you gonna do about it? I need to dodge all these fucking lesbians! Lesbians? Did you say lesbians? <laughs> I like lesbians. Oh, cut! Cut! Ready? And cut! cut.
that? Is that right? I'm fresher than a mouth. I don't know. Fuck off. <laughs> Running in that pussy like a crash, that brand. Bend it over, touch the toe.